In today's video, we're going to cover the setup for the Torn Soldier photo. This is a summative assignment. Uh, you're going to submit both a PSD and a JPEG. Um, all that information is right here. Uh, you can see the rubric for this. I would make sure that you read and pay attention to that. This is the file that we're going to start with. Um, if you're watching this video, you already know the setup for it is right here and if you look this is the original file and this is what the uh, photo should look like at the end so uh, the first thing that we should do um, as always is open up our creative cloud and open up our photoshop all right so now photoshop's open i'm going to go ahead and download the file for the tour and soldier Click on it as soon as it's done, and it will open up in Photoshop. All right, so the very first thing we should do once we open it in Photoshop is to save it. Everything that is not saved will be lost. So we're going to go save as. I'm going to choose Cloud Documents. And then Torn Soldier Photo Dash Frank. And then I will save it. And now it'll periodically save it on its own. Um, all right, so to get started, um, we're going to duplicate the original photo. Um, you can do that one of two ways. You can right click on it and duplicate it, or you can just click and drag it down to the plus symbol, and then it will duplicate it for you. So I'm going to name this original. Then I'm going to lock it, click on the eyeball, and I'm going to hide it. And then this one, we're going to call it Working Copy. All right, so I'm going to introduce you to a few tools that you have not used yet. Uh, the first tool is the Magic Wand tool. More than likely, it's going to be underneath the Object Selection tool right here. It's like the fourth one down. So if you click and hold, click on Magic Wand. So basically what the white magic wand will do is if I select on this white area, it's going to select all the white area around the photo. Um, if I was to select on the picture, it's going to select as much as it can uh, before it breaks up. But what we want is to get rid of this white in the background of our starting photo. You'll see the little marching ants all around the outside of the photo on the white. And you can just hit delete or backspace. And then it'll get rid of the white for you. Now, the next thing we need to do is deselect the image. You can hit Control D, or you can go to Select and hit Deselect. And use the shortcut is right there, just in case you forget. And now it's deselected. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the lasso tool, which is right above the magic wand, and we're going to draw all the way around the top of this photo we have to be very careful once we come here and then reconnect it so we're going to do that and hopefully i only have to do it one time and i don't mess up and then we'll reconnect it all right so next thing we need to do is we're going to cut this. So if you hit control X, it will cut it. Um, now we're going to paste it back in, but we want to paste it um, exactly where it was. So we hit control shift V and it'll put it right back there, but on a separate layer. Now, if we were to just hit control V, it's going to paste it like in the center on its own layer and then we would have to select the move tool and then move it to where we wanted it it's just kind of like more work so um if we just hit Control shift v it places it right where it wants it or right where we want it and then we'll call this the top of photo now this one is the bottom Of the photo 
Oops. Um, all right. And then we're going to make sure you have the move tool selected. And then we're going to move the photo and see if we can line it up. Now, as you can see, this little part right here is the paper that was torn from the back of the photo. So it's kind of covering up um, this guy's arm. So it's going to cause a lot more issues when we try to repair it. So what we can do is take the layer, take this bottom layer, or bottom photo layer, and then move it above, and it's going to put it behind. Now, back on the top layer, if you just use your arrow keys on the keyboard, you can see if you can line it up. And if you notice, like we line up this left or this right shoulder, now the left arm is a little bit off. So you're going to want to kind of find a happy medium and then should be good to go. All right. We didn't do a lot of work. It was kind of quick, but we should go ahead and hit file and save. That way we don't lose any of our progress. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is, um, you know, crop our photo, make sure it looks nice, straighten it. It's crooked. Um, and we want to make it look like this photo right here down in the bottom. So uh, we already learned how to do all that stuff last week and this week. Um, good luck with your assignment. Do your best and make it real good. And I will see you in the next video.